a lot of teachers had something wrong with them. Something wrong with them. Like, walking through the hallways of school, you pass by a simple history teacher and you could feel the heat emanating off this nigga. Just... <laughs> Just teeming with rage and malice. Man, I hate my job. Man, I'd give anything to switch with a Chinese sweatshop worker right about now. Anything at all would be better than this pit of hell. <laughs> I mean, I'd be seething too if I had to manage all them snot-nosed ass kids. You know? Working in customer service, it really gave me a newfound respect for teachers. I already respected them. By never intentionally disrespecting them, but you know, seeing all them grown ass adults ready to challenge my coworkers to uh, trial by combat just because they couldn't use an expired coupon, it, it really makes you look back and say, damn, I guess this is what I get for talking to my friend when my teacher was teaching the class. Karma's a bitch. Teachers had to manage kids. Kids. A lot of them going through puberty. All them hormones making them think they're God's gift to mankind. I couldn't do it. Nah, I, I couldn't. So yeah, uh, my job, it did give me a newfound respect for teachers. But it also gave me a, a newfound disrespect or, or I guess critique for some of them, right? Because a lot of teachers, they didn't know how to properly handle their anger or uh, I guess their frustration with the job. You know, uh, some teachers would do this thing mostly the female ones, where it was obvious they were just boiled, you know, fucking boiled. They'd be like, okay, if you guys keep talking, then I'll just, I'll just hold the entire class two minutes after the bell rings. What? Nigga, what are you talking about? Look, look firstly, firstly, you're mad. You're mad, and your husband is probably cheating on you as we speak. That's why you're mad, isn't it? Not because those kids over there are talking. Secondly, it's only six people talking right now. There's 28 people in the class. How about just punish those six kids instead of the whole class? Mind-blowing. Super move, huh? Never thought of that one. Secondly, that won't do anything at all. At all. You know, let's say I do end up being late for my next class. I'll just be like, uh, yeah, the, the teacher I'm coming from is a fucking psychomaniac that doesn't know how to properly control their temper. And it's just that simple. It's that simple. You did nothing but make yourself look like an idiot. It, it, it's a shame I was such a spineless, insecure, people-pleasing child back in middle and high school. Because if I had the confidence I have now, I would have just walked out the door anytime some teacher tried to pull that bullshit. What, what you gonna write on the referral, huh? Student decided to get out of class when he was supposed to. Yes, please suspend him for two weeks so I can feel better about my job. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Another thing teachers would do was that there were certain kids that knew how to push their buttons. Yeah, th th there were certain kids that just knew how to get under a nigga's skin. It was actually quite entertaining, uh, you know, seen in action, frequently interrupting the class, you know, uh, frequently challenging the teacher's authority at any given moment. And the only thing the teacher could do was send them out the class to the office. And you think that would be the end of it, right? The problem student got removed. The teacher should be in a good headspace right now, but no. Teachers knew that same problem child would, you know, they'd either be sent back down to class 15 minutes from then, or they'd just be back the next day. Because it was an extremely difficult process for a teacher to get a child completely removed from their class. I think the only way a teacher could do it was like, if they could prove the student was actively bullying or harassing another student. Because our high school, to be frank, it wasn't the most well-funded of high schools. You know, we needed all the accreditation we could get since our end-of-the-year exams weren't in the best shape. So the student would be sent back shortly to torment the teacher's pitiful soul. And what could a teacher do about that, huh? Call their parents? Their parents obviously didn't give a fuck about their child's education the way they're acting, so that kid was pretty much untouchable. But the teachers couldn't let that be the end of it. You know, a bunch of them had fragile ass egos, you know, the most china plate delicate of an ego. If I continuously let this child challenge my authority, the rest of these students won't respect me. So what do they do? They redirected all that built up angst and spite on another child, but in a very subtle way that makes them look justified, you know, usually an easy target like 
uh, some child that's extremely passive or someone everyone kind of knew was getting bullied and, you know, was used to that sort of treatment, that kid would do some small, like ask the teacher, hey, can you go back a slide? I didn't get that last sentence. And the teacher would unleash the floodgates. Were you not paying attention? Were you not paying attention? I put the slide up for an adequate amount of time. It is not my fault you're sitting there and wasting class time while I'm teaching. And then they try to get the rest of the class on their side to hype them up and, you know, further ostracize the kid. I'm pretty sure everyone else got the slide down. Greg, she turns to me, right? Greg, did you get the slide down? Now I got two options. I could be honest and say, actually, no, I'm in the same boat as him, believe it or not. That slide was a, a tad bit beefier than the other ones, but then I might get what that nigga got. So no. Option two, I lie. The teacher feels validated. I don't get bullied by the teacher. The event sort of dissipates, and both me and the other guy can just get the notes after class from, you know, someone who did manage to get everything down. Greg, did you get the slide down? Yes, ma'am. You see? You see how easy it is to just do what you're supposed to do? Jesus! As much as I respect teachers... A lot of them were tripping, dog, you know? If I can have patience and control my anger with adults, people that are already supposed to be civilized and well-mannered, if I can have patience with some 35-year-old guy pissed at me because his can of olives costs 40 cents more than a store he usually shops at, I'm sure, I'm positive, you can have just a little bit more patience and discretion with human beings that are still young, confused, and finding their way in life. Bro, what the fuck is this cloud, nigga? They just dropped the, what's it called, bro? That bomb on us, bro. Japan, you see what Japan did? They say, yeah, here's payback, nigga. Take this fucking payback, nigga. <laughs>